Okay, welcome for the Debian Science Buff. Uh, my name is Andreas Tiller. I'm uh, a physicist working basically in the Debian Med team, and because medicine biology is closely connected to science, and we have we are covering common things, um, I'm also always engaged in Debian science. Um, I just have prepared some slides which show uh, who is working the Debian science team. You see the Debian science team um, is uploading a lot of packages. Um, this is the number of packages done by different people. I realized that I did a lot in the last time, but this, these are mostly our packages. Um, Anton Gladke is quite active. Sylvester Ledru has um, more or less initialized the team. Ole is here in the room. And these are the active people. And you see the, they are continuously contributing. On the Debian Science user list, so we are discussion, uh, discussing common topics about what should be packaged and this kind of um, interaction between users, but mostly developers. This could be um, quite good if there would be some more users asking questions like, what could we package, what's, what's interesting for the users, but maybe this becomes some more use in this sense. There's also a developer mailing list where basically um, people are, um, yeah, where some technical things will be discussed and specifically these two people are actually not Debian Science members, but they are doing QA work. They you have a bugs here, so the bugs are also reported. They are not really contributors to the team, but they are asking the team to do something. These are the people who are hunting bugs in the Debian Science team. So you have um, well, also Older and me are mentioned there because we are fixing bugs in our packages and. These are the people who are contributing to the um, to the version control system. I, um, this is in 2018. is a little bit short because I did not switch this graphics to Salsa. I need to do some work for, uh, for this. But you see that um, we are constantly committing things to for the packaging, and yeah. Um, this is my team definition, which I use in the Debian Med team. It's not so good working in the Debian Science team, because in the Debian Med team, I experienced that I had a problem at Saturday night, 12 o'clock, and I was writing to the mailing list, and on the Sunday morning when I opened my laptop, somebody said, oh, I have solved your problem from yesterday. And so I wished that the Debian Science team would be more like this, that we cooperate more and uh, people would not just stick to their own packages and reach out to others and help others a little bit more. This is, unfortunately you can't see it here on this screen, this is, this is a bit sad, I, I need to explain. Um, this this uh, projector has a problem, right? So I hope it stays. Uh, this bar uh, reflects how many people are, uh, or how many packages are get contribution by only one person. This number of packages gets con contribution by two persons, three, four. It goes quite steeply down. This is not really a team because if we would have a team, the number of packages who are only by one, maintained by one person would be well, basically zero. And then, uh, for instance, in a Perl team, the graph goes like this. So most packages are maintained by two or three people and not only by one person, which shows that this team has a problem. Uh, or, well, not really a problem, but it's not really teamwork, but uh, it's a collection of single package maintainers, which I would like to improve. So um, I have prepared a wiki page which is exists uh, um, since several years for uh, the Debian science buff and um, I switched to this wiki page and we can also take notes 
for um, in, in Gobi, if uh, somebody wants to take notes here, this would be a document where, where somebody could do some notes for, for this buff. These are all my slides. I, I imagine that we hand around the mic and you say your name and why you are here and what you are expecting from Debian Science and how you want to contribute to Debian Science. It is okay for you? And you maybe you can start because you are sitting next to the mic. Say your name, why, what you are doing and then turn around the mic and then we know each other and then we talk a little bit about Debian Science. I hope you are fine with this. Okay, I'm, I'm Raphael Li from uh, China, Shenzhen. I'm, I'm a robotics engineer. I work on robotics systems, um, mainly work on logistics. We, our company has designed the uh, autom automated uh, robotic operating uh, no, uh, solutions for logistics. Uh, for the existing industry, they use uh, some uh, computer vision to solve the, the problem, but for ordinary computer vision implementations, it cannot uh, tell different packages. We have packages from uh, different size and different colors, so the uh, pattern matching in traditional computer vision cannot work, so we develop algorithms and and software structures to solve that problem, to make the classification automated. Okay, um, I need to, to uh, you said robotics or logistics is your work? Both, both. both. Ah, yeah. because we have this robotics task, you, you, you should know it. Are you aware of this? Debian Science is um, divided or has created some tasks which uh, contains packages like mathematics, meteorology, whatever, and we have also, wait a moment, oh, the this, this screen is not good here. We have also robotics. It's not, well, it's, it's a difference between my screen and, and this screen. Oops, sorry. So we have robotics, so the Debian science team has created different so-called tasks, this is a blend term, and this one is um, collecting everything what's connected to robotics. And this is a, a robotics task which has applications, and we have all also robotics devel, robotics devel, these are packages which are used in developing uh, applications. Are you aware of these packages? Sorry, no. Oh, Sorry. This is good, then, then I can transport some information to you. This, okay, is, this you. is the point That's of this part. Yeah. And if you have some applications which are missing here, then we should package this a bit. I don't know, if, are you aware about how to build Debian packages or not? We are using Debian. Yeah. You are using Debian. Right. Have you built your own Debian package? Yes. Okay. Then you can build official Debian packages by finding a sponsor and we put it into official Debian. Okay, well consider that. Yeah, yeah you should so well, your task is subscribe to the mailing list and say, Hey, I'm I'm the robotics guy. I want to contribute here. And you also see you also see your friends. It is Jose Luis Ribeiro and Dimitri no, this is probably a sponsor. Um, but the maintainer is um, is Jose. Matia is also a sponsor. Jose, maybe it's, it's just Jose. But um, he would be. Uh, I think Leopold Paloma Alaveda. These are both Spanish guys. Um, wait, it's coming up here. Um, he is also working in robotics. These two guys. And if you work together, you can make, you can cover the robotics task even better. And because we have no logistics task, you, if you have some dedicated packages for logistics, we can add the task with this one. Okay, if you have questions, 
now or later, I'm here three for full week. Okay. Okay, then pass the mic to the next. Hi, <coughs> my name is Norimitsu Sugimoto. Uh, I come from Japan. Uh, my I <coughs> worked pro programmer. Uh, I uh, I worked uh, Postgres GIS programming and tile map tile mapping and uh, programming on GIS data uh, and. Uh, Uh, GIS data is a uh, science based science. And I study um, science and science. Uh, I not I know I know Debian science in the print project and many brands. Mm -hmm. um, I know, so many, I, I, I understand and any brands. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you are working with GIS, do you know that we have a Debian GIS team? Yeah, uh, GIS team, um, I, I, I know, uh, I I know post Debian GIS on uh, first time. Yeah, so may maybe um, Debian GIS has also um, a dedicated project. So like Debian Meet and Debian GIS, they are both scientific blends which have dedicated packages. So maybe you find some some software here and maybe you can work together with the Debian GIS team. This would be interesting for you. Oh. <coughs> okay. okay. So then you can pass the mic or talk. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Wen Ting Yang. And I come from Taiwan, and I I study uh, law, uh, focusing on information law. So I'm interested in um, user privacy, uh, those kind of issue. And actually, I am not familiar with uh, Debian, uh, but I use Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. So I just run them to some topic and go into the room and and listen and yes nice um, okay that's all yeah if, if you study law there is kind of a blend which is more or less that it's called Debian Lex there is a mailing list but it's mostly not used basically that so maybe you can write an email, hi, here I am, maybe we can just discuss something, but if it's a difference about if you talk about Debian, about law and law issues, or if, if you uh, talk about privacy. Privacy is more, more general thing which is not necessarily law also. But thanks for, join, uh, for showing up here. Next one. Yeah. Hello. Uh, my name is Xie Xu. I'm from mainland China. Uh, I'm from Shanghai. I'm working in a company which is doing Internet of Things IoT. And I just uh, jumped into the company, so I don't know what, what we company do. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, I'm almost nothing to do with, the, with IoT. I'm a SRE, SRE guy. So I don't know too much about uh, the divine science. Yeah. Put it like that. Yeah, I think there is also some some IoT team, but um, yeah. it's not listed here. But I was planning to go here to pick something about that, but yeah. I'm not prepared for for discussing about that. Okay, okay put it like that. Well, fine that you are here. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm from Xi Hong. Uh, I'm also from Shenzhen, China, and I was uh, interested in uh, diving science because my personal is kind of my personal interest uh, uh, related to mathematics and physics. I was planning maybe I can get some uh, package to work on my own PC and visualize some uh, mathematics. Uh, uh, Phenomenon or or physical uh, uh, principles on my PC, and, and I think I can uh, gain a little thing, a little bit of things from this uh, both. So, yeah, what 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 I can uh, I hope you can learn is that we have these uh, tasks mathematics and mathematics developed. Here are mathematics relevant applications, and uh, yeah, I have noticed that. You know this. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Song Yu Liao, and I'm from Taiwan, and I'm working in e tree. Yes. And my major job is to study and de developing uh, alg algorithm for panoramic video. And need some computer vision, such as disparity. Find the disparity of the image. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I don't know how, if we have some support here, but maybe you. It's, I always recommend that uh, you subscribe this Debian Science mailing list and s discuss what you would like to see in Debian. And so this is always helpful. Maybe there are some friends just. Uh, hang around on this list and are too shy to to write something, and then you find some friends there. That at least there's some chance. I can't promise. Maybe you want to pass the mic, there, or you come closer. Hello, my name is Artur. I'm from Brazil. And so weird because of your T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just finished my masters. So I was working in benchmark applications to perform scalability analysis. And that's one thing that I'm interested in, data analysis related to performance and scalability. Um, but I'm also interested in discovering new tools to, to get more data related to Debian. I believe that Debian has a lot of information and we could make science with it. And I'm here to discover some tools that are already available yeah. in the Debian infrastructure. I recommend to read uh, all these tasks here. We have data acquisition, which is probably relevant for us for data analysis. And so, yeah. And if you have some ideas how to restructure all these tasks, maybe we could add some more which fits more your field. And the idea of the task is to say, up get install science this say data acquisition and to have everything what is inside Debian to uh, on your computer with only installing one package this kind of meta packages I explain it tomorrow in my in my talk about blends techniques this should give you some idea this is not a static thing we invented this is somehow <coughs> it's, it's in in flux and if if it can be made better please provide some information yeah. Hello, I'm Steven. I'm living in a small city in Germany and member of a hackerspace there. So to us, um, I think the, the electronics um, packages, the electronics task would be most relevant to, to what we do there. And um, yeah, we, we do a lot with Arduino and um, small embedded systems. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Xia Xie. I'm from Taiwan, Zhai. Zhai is a beautiful city. And I'm studying in biology, so I'm not close computer. And I just, uh, I don't know Debian before. I just know Debian come. And I'm, Bill is from, so I'm here. Okay, thank you. That's nice. 
Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Mo Zhou, uh, a Chinese master student, and I am a member of Debian Science team. Recently, I'm working on some deep learning packages and uh, Julia language and MKL. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Yeah, my name is Yunxuan Chai, and I come from I come from mainland China, and um, actually I'm I, I majored in chemistry, and uh, Debian is actually my working environment on some uh, scientific computing. Yeah, uh, the packages I'm currently using is basically um, Mopac um, for some quantum chemistry computing, and uh, actually uh, some sometimes on Gromax for a molecular simulation, and and that's it. And, I'm basically a user. I'm not a, a DD yet. Yeah, oh, um, wait a moment, please. There is this DB, DB Champ team, which is probably where you can find some friends. So this is like um, Debian GIS or Debian Mate. We have also DB Champ. So if you are chemists, they are really in need of people who are working together with them. And so if, if you could uh, learn how to package and join this team, this would be really, really good because it's, uh, well, only five people about, so, which are working this, and they, they could uh, use some, some help. So if you join the team, they are all friendly and kind people and looking for some more contributors. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Hi everyone, mm, my name is Xu Xiao. I'm a student of linguistics and I'm going to start my master in computational linguistics this year mm, in Europe. Mm, I used Debian Science Linguistics during my bachelor project. Uh, actually, it's basic Python and LTK, which is great. Well, my suggestion is that maybe Cython or PyPy should be included in Debian the linguistics package because it's essentially used in every single computational linguistic project that I know. Yeah, yeah as you see, we have a Debian linguistics task, yeah. and if some, something is included or not included, it's basically depending on who really does the work. So, if you want to make sure that it gets included, For the for the video stream, no? <laughs> if you want to get something included, then it's the best idea if you include it yourself. It's not that hard. Um, we, everybody of us started. I at some day uh, I also did my first package. It was a. Little, little teddy putting around on, on the screen, so I did it so to make my son happy. So um, you can you can learn it. That and it's it would be a good idea. I don't know how many people in the linguistics are working. Let's let's have a check. It's not so many people as well. Oh, this is just sponsored by me here. It is. I think it's Kartik Mystery. I think I have seen his badge here on the DebConf. So, well, I wonder why he isn't here on the, in this buff. So there are some people. I think I think you should you should watch out for Kartik mystery. I've seen this patch uh, on the DebConf. I have no no face behind it, but um, talk to him, work together, build the package you need, and put it in Debian. This is my recommendation. Oh, you, we, we share this one. <coughs> Working for me again? Yeah. Then <laughs> people know. Uh, okay, I actually, you, you, you said that you use uh, NLTK package, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm the NLTK package maintainer. Uh, do you use Spacey? That's, uh, that's, that's also a famous 
a computational linguistic package. Spacey. Spacey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, actually, some of my research project covered uh, covered natural language processing, but it's not my major. But I maintained some package. Uh, uh, recently, I no, one month ago, I started to package Spacey, but then I aborted it because I don't have enough time. If you are interested in some packages like Spacey. You are welcome to contribute. Please, please share the mic so that we get everything on the video stream. Uh, maybe we can have your contact information after this. So. Well, the, the contact should basically be debian si debian science at list.debian.org because if you just do two discuss each other, you waste the chance that somebody else joins the discussion. So I would really strongly recommend to discuss on the mailing list. For instance, this uh, Kartik mystery might have some additional input to your discussion. So please use the mailing list and discuss there. And he is, I, I, I trust uh, him that he is also a good mentor in teaching you something. Because he's doing a really good job. It's a good, very good hint. I, I, I like this conversation inside the buff because it somehow has a pot potential to get new contributions. Okay, my name, my name is Ole Streicher. I am working for uh, Debian Astro, which was in the beginning also part of Debian Science and then separated uh, into its own blend. Uh, and for Debian Science, I contribute whatever is we need and is more or less common for others as well. Uh, actually, I recommend if you find if you are uh, working for robotics, and so it might be an interesting thing to say, "Oh, we are now four or five people working for robotics. Let's do a separate blend and do more fine-grained tasks than just this robotics task." This is what happened in Astro and maybe in others. So this is a good idea to say. Now there is a critical mass of one one hand packages, on the other hand maintainers, and then you can build your own group, which might attract more people than such a general um, science blend. Okay. Hello, so my name is Ralf. I'm working at a university in Paris and um, I'm interested in formal methods, uh, program verification, SAT solving, SMT solving, things of that nature. Uh, so these are tools which are part of the logic, mm. logics uh, task. And I've contributed a few things uh, uh, to to this to this task. Um, okay, yeah. So this, yeah. So, do we have further questions about something we should do in the event? So I, th I think the essence of this was we have basically we we cover the fields of the people here in this room, and we. Could eat could add more packages um, to this, and um, the my advice is um, don't wait until somebody else has built a package. Just do it yourself because um, it's some time to learn, but you know that it will happen if you really want to. And um, if you uh, in Debian, it's the way you uh, can uh, you have no upload permission if you have you are a newcomer, but you can ask for a sponsor. And um, this is a Debian developer, but like um, Ole, for instance, or Ralf, uh, we can could sponsor. I do it also myself. Then we, we check your packaging and upload. So um, if you find a team like Debian Science, your chances to find a sponsor are higher than if you are just a random packager. Because we, we uh, I, I try to assemble people with common interests there, and people with common interests are uh, have better chances to, uh, to to get something done. So this is uh, the idea of uh, Debian Science. So if you have, um, I'm also running the, in in the Debian Me team uh, a kind of a sponsoring program, uh, mentoring program. It's called uh, Mentoring of the Month, where I teach people to package something, and maybe somebody finds the time also for you to teach you 
how to package because then the um, end transit event is more more easy. So I have I have a general general comment. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that uh, the Debian science team is somewhat atypical uh, in Debian because um, and this might explain parts parts of the problems that you that you mentioned that you yeah. showed in your yeah, slides yeah. because it's not centered around one um, computer technology because there are many teams which are centered around a certain programming language. Like your camel team or pearl team mm -hmm. or bison team or stuff, yeah. stuff stuff like that, or around uh, KDE or GNOME or uh, things like that, and that's of course not the case with with science uh, yeah. because they, they may t use any any technology, and um, so maybe it's not 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 really fair to compare the statistics with what you see in, in the pearl team. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, the team which is close close closest in in, in nature. To this team, please do not laugh. Is is the games team? Yeah, yeah. So for they, sure. they, yeah. they yeah, should yeah. have very, yeah. very, very, very similar problems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, I'm um, not no thing because we have um, we have language teams which are technology oriented, and we have application oriented teams like games or like science or all the other brands. So when when I'm doing packaging, I have touched. Um, from from the technology uh, that the, the software was written, at least ten, maybe fifteen programming languages, which I don't speak myself, but um, I try to do the installation method, uh, so reading uh, reading how to install, and if you know how to install a software, then you can in principle build a package. If there are no bugs and so, but that this makes um, I'm very bright in the, from the technology. But I am not very deep. If there are problems, I always need to address the Java team, Perl team, Python team, or so, and ask for help. And this is maybe also uh, in, um, for you the case. If you find a scientific ap application you need for your topic, but you have no idea about the lang uh, programming language, you don't uh, should be afraid about this because we have all the language teams, and you can ask there. And there's also. Um, I just repeat what I said in the above before. There is a Debian mentors list. Debian mentors help you doing the packaging. And um, this, despite the fact that I'm a Debian developer uh, since 20 years, I'm frequently showing up there and say, I need help for this or that problem. And this is a really nice experience when you get the help after a couple of hours, uh, which you can't do yourself. And um, um, there is a, a lot of knowledge hidden somewhere in the Debian universe, and you should just you should just try to find the way to this knowledge. Usually, by asking on mailing lists, and um, I just try to propagate the Debian science list first, and then we can redirect you to to the the places where you can find help. More questions? I can uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I, uh, I, I have another comment, a general comment yeah. to do. Um, the pro a possible problem with science related packages is that they are sometimes badly uh, perceived in the community yeah. for a certain reason. Uh, so, uh, software which is coming from universities, from research institutions, have a certain uh, bad image, which is that they are badly maintained, that they are one-shot um, developments. That is, there is some, some PhD student or some researcher for his research project, he writes a software and puts it on, it, on his web page, and then the PhD student uh, finishes his, his, uh, his thesis and goes away, or the researcher goes on a different project, and then the software is no longer man maintained. And um, for this reason, scientific software often has a quite bad, bad image in the, in the community, which is not completely, uh, completely wrong. So there is some some foundation for for, for that in my, yeah, in sure. my opinion. I, I observed this as well. So some some are like uh, issues a publication and then forgets the software or something like this. But it's um, well, you find examples for this, and you find examples for things which are definitely better maintained. And so we we. 
we have, I agree, on, on the Debian the well mailing list, the scientific software has some, some bad images, uh, image uh, uh, for, from some people, specifically the people who are doing the ports to other software. The scientists write their software in MT64 and don't care about ARM or even more strange architectures, or strange is the wrong word, it's a little bit taste, uh, unusual uh, architectures, which, which has a good reason, because who wants to do gene sequencing on his mobile phone? Nobody will do this, and so there is no real need that this software really runs on, on mobile phones or other Internet of Things uh, typical uh, devices. The argument the porters have in this case is that if the software is well written, it can run on any um, hardware. That's true, but the scientists just don't care. And we also uh, have a limited manpower, and then we say, okay, we provide it for AMD64, and this must suffice for, for all practical cases is sufficient, and other cases, uh, yeah. Who wants to port it, he can perfectly file bug reports and patches. Any more comments? What else? We have seven minutes left. So I would like to know if he, Debian has some tools, for example, to access data from other tools, for example, UDD, and get data from archive as well in an easy way. And you have this kind of tools to facilitate this work to well, get data from other I'm not sure what you mean about data, but we have uh, the data about the Debian packages. It's other these, these pages are generated from UDD. So this is everything in UDD. We have also data. I go to the Debian Mate package because we have um, what's interesting for scientists in Debian Mate. Close to every package has um, this information or this citation information. I'm very keen on it, so close to every package has um, a citation, which is um, um, very important for me because it's an additional motivation for the scientists that they see, ah, my, my uh, publication is, uh, has another Google hit uh, on a well, um, uh, well-searched website, and so we, we provide some service for the software authors, and they are, on the other hand, more happy if they see this uh, uh, and, uh, packaged for them, because then they could, and we have also some metadata about registries of the, um, the software. So this is metadata we put into the packaging, and then it goes to UDD, and you can drain it from UDD directly, and for instance, it is rendered here. Is, is this uh, the, the yes. answer to the question? Yes. Okay. Um, I would even expand on that citation approach here, which is, I think, very important for uh, there, not just for the authors, but also for the users. Sure. For example, in, uh, in astronomy, it, there's a big effort now con uh, uh, ongoing that uh, the, uh, the people should cite, actually, the software they use. And um, that's, well, if you have a system which is ready, then that's quite difficult to find out what, what's there and what could be cited. So, and if you have all the information right there, then it is much easier for the people to find out uh, what they actually use. So what I'm doing, if I start to package a, a new software, I do the Debian packaging, and I'm seeking for the publication belonging to this and add the information. This is, for me, uh, well, if it exists, the package is only complete if this information is included in the packaging. I hope that every member of Debian Science will do the same. Maybe we could somehow also uh, uh, ask well, upstream to put their preferred citation methods on uh, on their web page or whatever. Yeah. Sure, well, but we do, th we, do, we do that in the moment mm. already yeah. in astronomy, mm. Mm. but I think that's worth uh, mm. everywhere. Yeah, maybe, yeah, but, but um, I have made the um, experience that 50% um, uh, of upsp upstream is very responsive and the other 50% just don't realize, so we can only cover 50% with these um, requirements, I think. Well, it's, it, it's a question to teach people.
people uh, in yes. general in, yes. in uh, when writing uh, scientific mm. software to to be aware of that they w maybe want to be cited somehow. And yeah. that, that should be easy for others to find out how. Yeah, I fully agree. So, some more comments? If there are no further comments, we can also stop there. And you know, I'm, I'm here the full week. If you have questions, just approach me. Maybe I can redirect you to the people who know better than me. And yeah, thanks for attending. Oh, there's another question. By the way, I have tomorrow a, a talk about the technique behind how, how these web pages are created and how meta packages are created and so on. So when you, you create a kind of experiments to publication article or paper, stuff like this, you want people to reproduce the, those experiments using your scripts and use your data? Well, I have no scripts and no data. This is um, this is what upstream provides. I yeah, I, 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 I okay. take software, and if they are providing data, then yeah. yes. But my question is, does it make sense, like, to create packages for uh, to put together the uh, the set of scripts that I have uh, to try to make my experiment? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, more yeah. reproducible. Yeah. Well, I have my my personal policy is. I package every software I'm using, every software. So even if I have a very private stuff I'm using on my computer, it's packaged because if I want to install it on, on another computer, I'm way faster. Uh, starting from three computers you need to install, it's worth the effort to do the package. And um, if some colleague of mine approached me, oh, I need software this or that, I will not manually install it, I create a package and the package is installed, so it makes sense because maybe you want to run your your software on a cluster or so, and then you will be happy to roll it out in all the machines or whatever uh, application. And uh, finally, the um, the packaging is also some kind of documentation how you installed the package. Sometimes you forget, oh, what what did I do? Yeah, the, the documentation is the, the the packaging codes with the rules file documents how, what you did to install the package. So it has several advantages. Okay, so I think we have to finish now. Thank you, thank you for attending, and maybe see you tomorrow. Maybe you see you in the R. Um, buff. I don't know how many people are using R. This statistic program. I'm doing this as well now. Okay.